we're now hearing about it on a regular basis. These obnoxiously bright headlights are causing dangerous car accidents with increasing frequency. Why do y'all be getting these LED 3000 kilowatt lights in them? If you need that much light to see at night, you don't need a license, babe. You don't need to be driving around here. And if you're anything like me, you've also probably noticed over the last few years that headlights on cars these days seem to be getting brighter and brighter, causing more glare and making it more difficult to drive safely at night. And I know I'm not alone because as an ophthalmologist, one of the most common complaints I hear from patients daily is how all this glare is making it difficult and dangerous to drive at night. So in this video, I'm going to explain why this problem seems to be getting worse, what the most common contributing factors are to worsen glare. And at the end of the video, I'll give you some of the best changes and modifications you can make to help get rid of that glare at night as well as some new technology and solutions that will hopefully help us address this problem going forward. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better too. So why is this problem getting worse? Well, one factor is the light bulbs in our headlights. In the 1990s and 2000s, the majority of headlights on cars were made of halogen light bulbs. Halogen light bulbs have a warm orange yellow glow. Beginning in the late 2000s and early 2010s, we started seeing car manufacturers begin to introduce LED headlights to their cars. I remember one of the first times I saw LED headlights on a car. I was watching Iron Man in 2008 or 2009 and Tony Stark had this Audi R8 with these bright but very cool looking LED headlights. And since that time, LED headlights have become much more popular among car manufacturers. And now it seems like super bright LED headlights are standard issue from most car manufacturers from Toyota to Honda to Tesla to BMW. And we could measure the brightness of a light bulb using units called lumens. A typical halogen headlight has a brightness of 1,300 lumens, while an LED headlight has a brightness of about 1,600 lumens. More recently, luxury car brands like BMW and Lexus are introducing even brighter headlights called high intensity discharge or HID headlights, which can also be called xenon headlights and they have a typical brightness of 3000 lumens. Couple that with the fact that our eyes, our retinas are naturally more sensitive to the white bluish hue found in LED or xenon lights compared to the warm orange yellow glow from halogen lights and incandescent lights. And so even if light output remained the same, these blue lights cause us more glare and sensitivity to light compared to yellow lights. And it gets even better. Now newer BMWs and Audis also feature laser headlights. That's right, laser headlights, which can emit light at around 6,400 lumens. That is four times the brightness of the typical halogen headlights from not so long ago. It seems like luxury car manufacturers are in an arms race to put out the brightest possible headlights onto the cars and are marketing these super bright lights as a feature. But very quickly, it becomes a problem for anyone who's not inside of that car. The other factor that seems to be making the nighttime glare problem worse is that on average, we're purchasing taller and taller vehicles like SUVs and trucks. A report from JD Power found that in 2010, about 53% of vehicles sold in the US were trucks or SUVs. But reports from 2023 now show that more than 79% of car sales are trucks or SUVs. Our headlights, when they're properly positioned, are meant to be pointed with a downward angle to illuminate the road in front of us. But when we have taller and taller vehicles, the headlights on these higher vehicles can become perfectly aligned with another driver's line of sight, which can make it very dangerous for them if our lights are shining directly into their eyes. I'm so glad that people have LED headlights. It's I'm so glad that you can see this well. The last contributing factor, which is making nighttime driving more difficult, is our biology. When it's dark outside during the night, our pupils dilate. Evolutionarily, this makes sense, right? We would want our pupils to dilate when it's dark because this allows our retinas to collect more light from our environment. This will help us to see better and also have better peripheral vision, even if it's dark out. The problem though, is that this evolutionary adaptation of pupillary dilation in the dark made a lot of sense when humans were maybe living outside or living in caves millions of years ago, where the only light at night may have been from the moon or the stars, or maybe even a campfire rather than like in modern times where there seem to be LED lights everywhere. And during the day when it's much brighter, our pupils are more constricted. And this pupillary constriction helps to focus the incoming light onto our retina so we can see clearly. The issue we run into with pupillary dilation is that when our pupils are dilated, this allows a lot of unfocused scattered light to enter our eyes as well. And so when we have bright headlights shining into our eyes from all different angles, 
then we can have a flurry of scattered light bouncing all around our eyes, causing significant glare. So we see that brighter headlights, taller vehicles, and our biology are all contributing to this growing problem. Many drivers have petitioned lawmakers, Congress, and the Department of Transportation to look into this issue and to start regulating car manufacturers so they stop making cars with headlights that are so dangerously bright. But until that time comes, let's go through some of the things you can do now to help with nighttime glare. Okay, the first thing you can do to help decrease nighttime glare is to make sure that any surface that light passes through in your car is clean. So that means cleaning your headlight housing for the sake of other drivers, cleaning your windshield, your mirrors, and your glasses if you wear them while driving. Like we mentioned before, light scatter is our enemy. So if there's dirt, smudges, bug guts, anything like that on your windshield, your windows, mirrors, or glasses, that will increase the scatter of light reaching your eyes and worsen the glare. Okay, before we go into the next solution for nighttime glare, I wanted to tell you about my optimized newsletter. If you want science-backed tips on how to protect your vision and health delivered straight to your inbox, you can sign up for my optimized newsletter at michaelchuamd.com. The next tip I have for nighttime driving is to look just slightly down and to the right if there's a car with bright headlights coming towards you. If you're looking straight ahead and a car or truck with obnoxiously bright lights shines directly into your eyes, it can literally be blinding for a few seconds. That's because of a phenomenon we call photo bleaching or flash blindness. We all have special cells called photoreceptors in the retina or the thin layer in the back of our eyes. And these photoreceptors are responsible for allowing us to see. When light hits these photoreceptors, it triggers a chemical and electrical reaction that allows these photoreceptors to convert incoming light into electrical signals that get sent along the optic nerve to the brain, which allows us to see. After photoreceptors send these signals, they need a little bit of time to relax back to their baseline state so they can start sensing light again. So if we shine intense, super bright headlights into our retinas, we can basically overwhelm the photoreceptors in our retina and exhaust our ability to see light. And this can result in a temporary loss of vision or flash blindness, which is very dangerous when we're driving vehicles. So if you try to look slightly away from oncoming headlights by looking slightly down and to the right, you can decrease the amount of light photons coming into your eyes and overwhelming your retina and help prevent those dangerous episodes of flash blindness from occurring. Another useful tip along this same line of thinking is to drive more on the right-hand lanes while you're driving on multi-lane roads and highways. Basically, if you're further away from oncoming traffic, this will help to decrease the amount of straight on light coming into your eyes and will help to decrease the glare symptoms at night. The next tip to help decrease nighttime glare is to get your eyes checked. On a daily basis, I have patients mention to me that their nighttime driving has become more difficult because of glare. And after a quick eye examination, lo and behold, they have certain eye conditions like nearsightedness or myopia, astigmatism, or cataracts that are significantly contributing to their glare symptoms. And after being checked for a proper pair of glasses or maybe after cataract surgery, their glare symptoms are greatly improved. The last solution I'll mention for improving nighttime glare is the development of a newer technology called adaptive headlights. Car manufacturers have created special adaptive headlight systems that can change the shape, brightness, and angles of our headlights depending on the environment around us. For example, if the adaptive headlight system senses that there are oncoming cars or a car slightly ahead of us, it'll make sure to dim the light reaching other drivers. Or if there's a lot of empty space in front of us without other drivers, the system will know to increase brightness to help our visibility. By focusing light where it's needed most, such as on the road, instead of other drivers' eyes, these systems will allow us to see better while reducing glare for others. Although the technology has already been developed and has actually been available in other countries for several years now, U.S. car manufacturers and drivers are waiting on the Department of Transportation and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to fully approve these headlight systems. Hopefully in the near future, we will see this technology coming to our cars. But until then, remember to keep your windshields, mirrors, and glasses clean, drive on the right-sided lane on the road, or look slightly to the right if you have lots of cars with bright headlights coming towards you. And don't forget to get your eyes checked for conditions like astigmatism or cataracts. Okay, I hope this review of the best ways to solve nighttime glare was useful to you. If you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want an eye exam, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates. And if you made it this far into the video, that probably means that you're really interested in improving your vision and health. You can watch my video here to try a fun home eye test to see how your eyes are doing. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Pointe Hills Eye Care. See you next time.